Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher. Welcome to the Sweetwater Minute. This week on the Sweetwater Minute, I want to show you a brand new interface from RME. This is the Fireface UCX. Now, the Fireface UCX will connect to your computer by either FireWire or USB 2.0. supports both Mac and Windows. It has 18 ins and outs, and those are 8 analog ins and outs, and then there are 8 digital ins and outs on ADAT Optical, and stereo ins and outs on SpeedIF Digital as well. There are two built-in microphone preamps, built-in MIDI interface ports, also has word clock connectivity for syncing up with a larger digital system. The Fireface UCX is compatible with just about any software package you might want to run. It's running here with a PreSonus Studio One version 2 and uh, handling all the tracks, of course. And it comes with a Total Mix software. Total Mix software allows you to control your inputs and outputs up here. It allows you to control your software returns as well as your hardware outputs. You have control over a whole monitor section here. If you're setting up stereo monitors, you can have two pairs you can switch between with dimming and uh, mono selection. There's a talkback button here. So the Total Mix software really gives you complete control over everything that's happening inside the UCX. One thing I really like about the Fireface UCX is that it actually comes with this mini remote which allows you to access a lot of the functions you're going to be using all the time. And You can also upgrade to an optional larger remote that is even more full featured if you want to. Of course a big concern when you're working with any audio interface is latency. Latency is the time that it takes for the signal to get through the interface into your computer and come back out and it can become an issue when you're overdubbing tracks in particular. Now, the RME Fireface UCX actually has, with the Total Mix software, the ability to give you zero latency monitoring so you don't hear any of those delays. The other cool thing is because there's DSP right inside the interface itself, you can turn on effects that run right on the box instead of in your computer by just clicking this button here. You can add reverb, you can add delay, and it doesn't add any extra latency, and those are right there in your headphones or through your monitors while you're tracking. It's a very nice feature. But the Fireface UCX has one more big surprise that's really lurking behind the scenes here. Let's switch over to another setup and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So the big secret with the UCX is it's actually compatible with the iPad as an audio interface. Now there have been compatible interfaces in the past, but they only supported two channels in and out because they were class compliant with USB 1.1. The Fireface UCX is a true USB 2.0 interface, and so with its class compliancy, it actually supports up to eight ins and outs. There are eight analog inputs and outputs that you can route into your iPad, and you can use them at sample rates up to 96 kilohertz and 24-bit audio. Pretty amazing that you're getting that out of this box right into an iPad. Let me show you how you make this happen. The one additional piece that you need to complete this puzzle is the Apple Camera Kit. And uh, I'll give you a little tip, there are several knockoffs of this available out there that are a few bucks less money, but they really don't work as well. For best performance with the UCX and an iPad, you really need the Apple uh, camera kit, which performs very well. So it's a simple adapter, a dock uh, connector on this end that plugs into the iPad, and a USB port on this end that you connect up to the, uh, to the Fireface. Once you're plugged into the camera kit, there are just a couple of steps to make the, uh, the interface actually work with your iPad. Put it into channel mode, select class compliancy, hold the button, you'll get an on message, the lights will flash, and now when we plug this into our iPad, we're ready to go. So what you're hearing is smart drums within GarageBand, and they're playing through the UCX as an audio interface, so the stereo output from the uh, UCX is being fed directly into our cameras straight out of the iPad, so it's being used as the audio interface there. Now we can also input signals through the Fireface UCX, so if we switch here to a microphone, our audio recorder, we can see this is our input channel for GarageBand, and if we hit our button here, we have all our inputs from the UCX are available to us. We can choose any of those that we want. We've got eight mono inputs, they're all analog, or we can choose stereo pairs of those inputs as well. So we can record up to eight channels at once directly into our iPad, assuming our application supports that. Most, most of the uh, multi-track recorder applications that run on the iPad will support the UCX, just plug and play, and they give you access to all of those inputs. It's really an amazing thing, and it allows you to get the same audio quality out of the UCX with your iPad that you would when it's connected to a computer. Really amazing. A truly portable solution, throw this and the, uh, the iPad into a bag and you can be off making an 8-track recording wherever you want to be. With the RME Fireface UCX, I think what we're seeing here is a shift in how we're actually making our recordings, in particular when we're on location, uh, not in a studio. We've been using computers for a number of years, and now the iPad has come in, and a lot of us are using it all the time. I know that mine, my whole life is on here. I do all my practicing, all my rehearsing. A lot of musical work gets done on my iPad. So to now be able to use that as a multi-track recorder is really an attractive thing. Lots of fun. Fireface UCX sounds great. It's easy to use, has a lot of capability, all the I.O. that you could want. And then hooked up to the uh, iPad, it's a really convenient solution. Throw it in a bag and you can record anywhere you want. I'm Mitch Gallagher. Thanks for joining me for the Sweetwater Minute.